I'm Catherine Webster with Vets in Tech, and um, well, it's Military Appreciation Month, so hug, hug a veteran. Uh, I am asking this question on behalf of veteran entrepreneurs, but it applies to any entrepreneur. Sure. So just please, um, if you could let us know, what are the top three things you advise entrepreneurs when looking for funding? Okay, um, specifically for vets or for everybody? Everybody. For everybody, okay, so number one, are you, you in the military? M military family. Oh, you military I, family. Well, yeah. thank you for your service because you know what, the people who have to send their loved ones over, yeah. big round of applause for that, yeah. I mean, it really is a lot of times the spouses and the kids who are making a bigger sacrifice, than, you know, or, or as big a sacrifice as the people going over there, so we, we appreciate that, especially since we don't have to put ourselves in harm way, harm's way. So, top advice for entrepreneurs raising money. Um, okay, so knowing when to approach people is critical, right? And doing your research on investors. The great investors are out there and they have portfolio companies, they do interviews in most cases. Many times they get a cold email from somebody who hasn't listened to the 100 interviews I've given about myself or the 650 that I've done for This Week in Startups and they don't follow my Twitter and they don't follow my LinkedIn uh, or any of the other things I'm doing. And I'm always fascinated that they don't know that I don't do music investment because music startups always fail. It's really hard. Um, it, almost universally, it, it's a difficult business. And so I say to them, like, did you ever hear me say that? Oh, no, I never heard that, okay. So knowing the investor and then knowing the timing of that investor is so critical. If you're dealing with somebody who's at a VC firm and you look at their portfolio and say, wow, they've done B and C rounds, but I don't see any A rounds. Okay, it's not the right time for me to go there. Okay, what are the companies that they invested in the B and C round and who did the A round? Great. Now, who did the A round? Who before them did their seed round? Okay, and the seed round, did they go to an incubator before that, right? So really doing your research. This idea of um, a shotgun approach is the exact exact wrong one, to use military terms. You wanna be a sniper. You wanna pick a target, you wanna study the target, you wanna know the wind speed. I mean, you really wanna really think about who you're going after. When you do go after them, I suggest um, that uh, you work on your execution and making every aspect of your execution exceptional, right? And this is something the military does very well, right? They're very focused on details and being exceptional. So if you look at um, the letter you write, the screenshots you share, the name of your company. When we're on the other side of the table, we're actually thinking about all that stuff. So, you know, when you're, I'll just give you a couple of examples. Um, when I went to raise money for my startup, I had the domain name 20.com and mahalo.com. And I went into Sequoia and I was showing them my concept for a human powered search engine, Wikipedia plus Google. And I was showing it to two of the most famous venture, well, the most famous venture capitalist at the time, Michael Moritz, and his new protege, Roloff Botha, who had just done his first investment in a video platform called YouTube with some people who had, he had known from PayPal. And um, the first thing they noticed was like, oh, the domain name 20.com and the domain name mahalo.com, we know what mahalo means, it means thank you, and then you have 20.com, how did you get those domain names? I'm like, well, I paid 75 for that one, and I paid 16,000 for that one, and I'm testing them, and here's what I'm trying to figure out. It immediately built credibility. Oh, he's got a serious domain name. So when com.com came to me, and we're on the program, I was like, oh, mindful meditation. I was like, how did you get com.com? It's a million dollar domain name, and he explained to me, Alex, too, who's a great entrepreneur. Alex explained to him how he got the domain name for much less than a million dollars, and I was like, okay, if you can get com.com for a song, there is, this has proven to me that one, you're great at branding, two, you have a big vision, three, you have the ability to negotiate with somebody and get that prime asset, right? So number one, pick the right target and study them like a hawk. Number two, when you approach them, have exceptional, exceptional execution. You don't wanna come to them when you're in the idea phase. That means nothing. So coming with one customer, one customer, that loves your product is better than having a thousand PowerPoint slides. Having three beautiful images of your app gorgeously designed is better than having all the research in the world in a 20 point deck. Having a mock-up of that would be even better. 
Hey, everybody, let's take a moment to thank my friend Scott Walker from the Walker Corporate Law Group. They are a boutique law firm specializing in the representation of entrepreneurs and startups. And they encourage fixed fees. They believe that billable hours reward inefficiency, so they will give you a fixed fee to form your companies, do merger and acquisitions, licensing agreements, terms of service, privacy policies, all that important stuff that you need to get dialed in perfectly for your startup. And their lawyers have 10 to 20 years of experience each. No junior associates getting on the job training with your startup, no. They're all pros over there. And if you want to talk to the founder, Scott Walker, you can call him directly, 415 979 9998 415 that's the area code here in San Francisco 9799998 or you can email scott at walkercorporatelaw.com scott at walkercorporatelaw.com or visit wa- walkercorporatelaw.com again call him 415-979-9998 he is a great guy he's been around for years coming to all of our events and supporting everything we do, and he is a real mensch, a great attorney, uh, and he's got a great team over there. A lot of my startups uh, use the Walker Corporate Law Group and have had a great experience. Go ahead and follow at Scott Ed Walker on Twitter, too. He loves to get new followers, and it's awesome when you guys thank the partners for supporting independent media like This Week in Startups. Okay, let's get back to this program. 